Oh my gosh. So the lighting is bad, but it's going to be fit. I finally got a good quality tripod. Good quality. I don't know yet. I'm not gonna link it or anything because I don't want for like it to literally only last me a month y'all like trusting me and it's a better quality one so i'm honestly really excited i love when i order things that it's like investing in myself i guess it gives me like a different level of satisfaction rather than when i buy clothes just made my day hopefully this lasts me because the ones that i used to order for like 20 dollars on amazon and it literally would not it feels like feels real like heavy duty like I like that sound. That's very satisfying. I recommend everyone to just like get your clothes or whatever, but don't be spending all your money on clothes or stuff that isn't necessary. If you have to spend money on food, definitely spend money on food, but save your money, okay? I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to use this tripod because I was missing the part to connect my phone to the tripod, but I went and got one of my old ones and used that. At first I was very overwhelmed. I was like, hold up. Cause they was talking about screws and tires. I mean, tires. Um, they was talking about all types of screws that I was very like, huh? But I figured it out and it didn't take me as long as I thought it would. But the moisture I just used by the way is CeraVe or CeraVe moisturizing cream it's honestly the best and i feel like it'll top all of your shea butters and all of your cocoa butters if you guys are new to my channel my name is bb and i am doing my makeup to take instagram pictures i am using the elf Corliss face primer and i'm trying to go for like a more beat look but i'd be kind of scared to do like full beats because i don't know if it's gonna like look too cakey and look too weird but i never put that much makeup on anyways <sighs> i need to right here my face first things first i always start off with my eyebrows i just do i don't even do it on purpose it just doesn't feel right to not do my eyebrows first don't me. i hope i have enough because like this is all that's all i got so i don't even really feel in my eyebrows that much anyways that's where i feel like these little pencils run out so fast like i feel like they could squeeze in a little bit more product i know i'm not using that much so i want to try out like more eyeliner looks because i have been seeing all these different types of eyeliner i know like they have like the regular like you know but i want to try like more like slanted downwards like smudgy like i really do the same stuff every time and it's just it's boring so at the beginning of the school year i was very excited i was thinking that this is gonna be this is a fresh start for me honestly it turned out to be the opposite i know y'all hear me complain about school in every single video because i genuinely like hate school i am hopefully going back to online school i feel like during quarantine i was really able to like self-develop and because i was staying well i was staying at home but like now i can relieve myself of the pressure of not going to in-person school and just doing um and, and just going out so what what stresses me out it's really just the people there and i was talking to some friends and they feel the exact same way that was one thing that i am kind of scared about is leaving school just for my social anxiety to get worse that's one thing that i am scared about I feel like I'm gonna grow out of it honestly because I'm slowly am growing out of it You just have to really switch your mindset to like a different one Because anxiety, it lies to me all the time Tells me all this irrational stuff that doesn't even make any sense And just becoming self-aware of that recently has really been helping me Y'all, I love the way I do my brows honestly I will try and like make them like super uh, perfect like Instagram Like my eyebrows are not symmetrical Like they will never be symmetrical just by the way that my hair like grows in different directions and it took me a while to accept that because i would like shave them and try and make them sharp and perfect and now i'm just embracing the asymmetricality of my face i'm very excited for the content that i am going to make when i do do um online school i'm gonna have so much more time i use the fenty beauty concealer i don't know which because i know she got like does she got okay the pro filter 
yeah the fenty beauty pro filter concealer in the shade 385 and this is my highlight shade and i love it i will never stop using it and i'm gonna use the pro concealer in the shade beautiful bronze on my cheeks because i'm breaking out i'm breaking out real good on my cheeks right now like real good i'd be scared of these because these be kind of pop is it even coming out this feels very thick right now i don't know why it feels so thick I do personally feel like all this anxiety that I'm feeling isn't only social anxiety. It definitely has to do with a lot of the pressures that are on me right now, especially with college and the future just by being a teenager. And I feel like it's time for me to like start grinding. Like it's time for me to stop playing and get serious and really get serious with my life. I knew what's coming in like middle school, but I never cared about paying attention to because it's so far in the future always wait to blend out underneath your eyes why you want that to be the most fullest coverage and blend until you can't blend anymore sis so this video was supposed to be actual it was actually supposed to be a hygiene routine a winter like hygiene routine but i did make one it wasn't re it's not really recent but honestly like nothing has really changed like it's winter and it's colder so the only thing that i do is i mix in baby oil gel with my lotions and that really keeps my skin so like moisturized honestly like it'll keep it moisturized until the next day which is crazy because in the mornings it's like super cold like that's when my hands start to get ashy like but the rest of my body is like it's right like if i were to only use lotion alone it'll probably get ashy like you can scratch my skin and you'll see the line the reason why my hands still get ashy is because i wash my hands a lot throughout the day so and i don't put lotion on after which is bad i do try and do it majority of the time but not every time so we're going to set my face with the Fanny fancy pro filter powder honestly i don't really like this one i feel like it doesn't really like set my concealer correctly and it's from the same brand so i don't know i really don't know i want to try like a banana powder or something this is a little bit too dark for my under eyes but let's see what i do to fix it because that's just what i do i make what i have work and i don't bake Ooh. I don't bake at all because I just feel like baking makes me look very like dry and ashy. Maybe I haven't found like the correct powder that would um not do that. But this powder doesn't, well, it, it doesn't make me look ashy. Like it sets it, but it just, oh no. The airspoon powder, it makes my skin look ashy if I don't put this on first. So like everything kind of just works together. And then since I put concealer on my face, which is actually something that has become kind of like a trend now, but it's something that I've been doing i never really wore foundation and i kind of want to get into it but i don't know i just don't I feel like my face already has like its own natural contours and highlights to it so i don't really want foundation i mean foundation is not really me but i love it on other people i really do it's not on me now it's time for the bronzer my face is pretty flat toned right now and this bronzer i'm still trying to find one that is like really good skin color this one has a little bit too much red in it my skin is very Neutral. All the brushes that I use are from the beauty supply store, I think. Unless I say otherwise. I don't know. I don't know when to stop sometimes. Y'all, I'm really loving this. Like, this looks good. This never happens. It's, it's like a flip of a coin. I'm very surprised. But what do I do next? I'm going to do some nose contour with the same bronzer that I just put away. I'm going to use this brush. And I like to, you see how I like didn't bring my, my concealer to the front of my brow? I just feel like that makes them look even more asymmetrical than they actually are. So I just don't do that. Instead, even if your eyebrows are symmetrical, I still recommend not putting it all the way in the front unless you like that look. But I love when I just put like, like a bronzer. And it just kind of, it helps with the nose contour. And and it just looks so dang good. I will never, ever, ever, ever stop doing this. Put it underneath it first. I like for like the bottom part to be like really dark. So go crazy. So I look like a deer. And then I go on the top of right here. And then I do the side. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than I usually do. Cause this is only for pictures. Sometimes when you do your makeup in the pictures, it just kind of just like 
everything just blends together i'm gonna get this brush that i use to blend out my concealer and whatever is left on it i get at the tip of my nose like this i tilt my head up do like that actually it needs a little bit more on there and now i'm going to bake my brows i didn't bake and eh, i kind of do but not with the first layer of powder and like the corner of my eyes is not really blended it's still kind of like set completely so what i do is i go in and i blend it and i get this air sponge translucent powder i do not recommend this powder unless you have like another powder to like set like i did before and i don't recommend this for someone my shade it's not translucent it's white and i just use this to brighten the inner corners of my eyes and help with my contour so that's one side do the same thing to the other side and then a little line okay and that's it i'm gonna let that sit a little bit where's the top now i'm gonna do blush which is so fun i want to add more blush to my collection this is the only shade that i have and i'm kind of sick and tired of it even though this one is great it's not it's a little bit too pink but it's still cute i like it and it's the only one i have so i'll put it on my forehead like in between the highlighted part and the contoured part so i'll put it on my chin on my nose like it just makes my whole face just look like blush blue eyes now i don't know do i want to do freckles because i really can i'm going to take off the bake now now i'm going to go in with some more setting spray this by the way i've been using it this whole time this is a nade dewy finish for setting this i don't like like a super matte face i like for the makeup to look like skin it keeps it looking very melted and just nice I'm going nowhere this always happens when i'm not going nowhere and when i am it want to act up and it want to and it, stuff don't want to work out stuff want to go missing and grow legs and walk away Aww, i gotta cut them though they too big oh um i don't know if it's just i haven't seen myself with lashes on for a long time or like are they just too long I'm gonna overline my lips. We have big lips, still overline them because I feel like it just adds oh, this sort of plumpness and juiciness to them. And make sure you blend it too. I'm not gonna put lip gloss on yet. I'm gonna put it on after I put on my lashes. I use a duo clear lash glue. Don't use hair glue. You are going to rip your lashes out. And this is a trick that I love to do because putting lashes on for me was very difficult when I first started. So you're just gonna wanna put it on like a side liner. And I like this one because it's clear. So it's like if anything gloops or glops anywhere, you can't really see it like that because it's clear. As long as it's not too big, because of course it's like gonna be kind of shiny. I'm gonna get the mirror from my bronzer. It's very important. I'm gonna flip it upside down like this and look at it really close from like the look down. If you have another mirror, maybe you have something like this. Maybe hold it like underneath you. And you're just gonna wanna place it on. You can literally see what you're doing. And then you fix it before it dries. And see how easy that was? I'm gonna do some nose highlight. This is the L Glow Gleam Beam palette. I got this a long time ago as well. And I just put this in the center of my nose. See? How just like and then right here in the little dip of my nose. So we got the little mood lighting in the room. So since I record on my phone, I'm gonna screen record me taking the pictures. Mm -hmm. 